This is literally right next to where I was camping last night. Nice relaxing sound. So this morning I'm at Boykin Springs Recreation Area, deep in the Angelina National Forest of East Texas. Just look at how beautifully the light reflects off the water in this lake. That is incredible. So this morning we're going to hike the Sawmill Trail. So here's a map to get you oriented. We're here at the Boykin Springs Recreation Area and we're gonna hike down here and see what we discover along the way. I think there's a great reward at the turnaround point of this trail. It can be just a little bit confusing finally getting on the sawmill trail. But right here at this creek crossing you finally enter the main trail. Just look for the yellow arrows. I started seeing them right around the main bathroom in the campground. So this recreation area is about an hour and a half to two hours northeast of the Houston area in the heart of the East Texas Piney Woods. One of the great features of this trail is you get nice views of this tumbling stream through the forest all along the way. This is probably some of the most rugged landscape that you'll see in East Texas around this recreation area. Really rocky. Okay, so it looks like I'm about halfway to our destination right now. Somehow I don't think this bridge is safe to cross anymore. So there are multiple muddy stretches through here. Just be mindful of that. In the late 1800s, East Texas had a large resource just waiting to be tapped into. By 1890, lumber had become the largest industry in the state. But this wasn't possible without the massive expansion of railroads across Texas. In the year 1903, a man came to this location and built a sawmill. This would become a very large operation, and at one time it had as many as 500 employees. A town was built up around the sawmill and peaked with a population of about 1,500 by the year 1920. Unfortunately, a series of fires plagued this operation over the years, and by 1923, it ceased operations for good. And a few years later, the town around it faded away completely. And so today we're going to explore what remains of this town. I've seen pictures online and this is a place just begging to be explored. And there it is, appearing through the trees. A relic of the past. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the part where zombies come running out of the building and then I get bit. Hmm. 
Very impressive old structure here. So it looks like we've got another building right through here. Oh, wow. So it looks like there's one last building left to explore here three total, at least that I can see right now. Wow. This may be the creepiest of them all. Tremendous echo inside here. What do we have here? Another very large structure here near the sawmill. Unfortunately, this one has collapsed. <laughs> 